in this video tutorial we will learn about the gsm module interface with the arduino inside the proteus so for it first of all it is important to tell you that the real gsm module or cell phone is not offered by the proteus so in order to simulate or in order to just build a simple animation for to show a message receiving or not receiving must be done manually and through some of the simplest ways so for it you can see that we have added a gsm module and one cell phone and both are linked with each other For this file, you can go to read the description and you will find two links, one for this Proteus file and one for the Arduino coding file. So in order to run it, okay now, now we can see that this GSM module is driving the cell phone okay just set them some bit for graphic okay okay now you can see that we have one gsm module and one cell phone and when we press this push button we can see that we got message received and when we just set it off then we can see that we have no message received on the cell phone so the signal is going to the gsm module and then the output of gsm module is connected to the input of the cell phone so in order to attach the arduino you need to take one arduino again this arduino is not offered by Proteus, so you have to download it from any of the source at google all the arduinos work just like each other so we will attach it with the pin number seven okay now okay now we must have to save this file and then we have to go to the arduino arduino file new file and here you can see that we have wide setup and here you can declare some variables like int f and a these are just the variables to store the values inside them and also int g and wire setup we need to declare pin mode 7 comma out put and in wire loop we need to write like a is equal to analog read of a0 what it is doing that actually this command is just reading the signal on the analog pin a0 of the arduino and then all the values will be stored inside this a then b uh, sorry f is equal to map map of a comma 0 comma 10 23 comma 0 comma 255 so what it is actually these are just the sampling on 0 comma 1023 is sampling on the x axis that is sampling of time and 0 to 255 are the samples of the y axis or the magnitude the magnitude of the voltage that is 255 represents 5 volt and 0 represents 0 volt so we will write if 
f is greater than 200 if f is greater than 200 then we will do digital right 7 comma high that if f is greater than 200 the value if the value of signal is greater than 200 then you must have to write digital write 7 comma high and digital write 7 comma low if f is less than 200 okay now we will run it we can save it like gsm underscore zero zero okay and we will save it uh, this PC and then I will save it inside this E and then I will save it here okay here here is some mystery seven comma high okay now again run it okay again seven comma low Okay, you must have to write like this. Run it. After done compiling, drag the scroll button, and here here you will see a link that is that ends at ino.hex. Just copy it from C to ino.hex. Control C, and just go and paste inside the Arduino then what will happen that but we need to apply some signal on a naught so here we will apply some signal like uh, dc 5 volts like uh, 5 volts okay and uh, we also need one potentiometer so go in parts and take potential port active it will give us the potentiometer port active and here you can place the port and okay okay now we will run it okay first press this button so that okay okay now 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 we need to increase the value of what's called as the we we need to press this button first now we will decrease the value on potentiometer and when it uh, will be here okay wait yeah okay yeah wait yeah wait there is some mistake because here we must have at least a level of 12 volt so we must have to delete this object okay and then we will insert a relay that is a relay -E relay and we will take an active relay and we will put here and we will attach the button here also we will take one more dc supply and attach it with the normally closed pane and we will write here 12 and we will then press ok ok now we will attach it with the pin number 7 and the next with the what's called is the Okay. 
also reduce its value to the 5 volts so press ok now hopefully it will work fine ok then we will run it and now we can see that if we yes decrease the value on analog pin 0 it is going to work fine that is message received and no message then message received and no message so you can download this gsm module and all these files the links are given inside the description so thanks for watching this video tutorial